Hello, and welcome to the Food Adventures channel. You know, when you go to Chipotle and Kedoba, one burrito, no matter how big you try to make it, is never quite enough. Whenever I eat a burrito, or even a burrito bowl, it leaves me wanting for much, much more. Because it's just not enough to fill me up if I'm on an empty stomach. I usually have to go home and eat a bag of shrimp chips or some ramen to actually like make a full meal. One Kedoba and Chipotle burrito for like 850, 860 is not enough. But I think I've found the solution. Behold, this is the ginormous burrito from La Bamba and it's only $9. I think this is like roughly, it's almost twice as long as a Kedoba or Chipotle burrito. And if you really look at it, it's much wider. It's roughly 10 to 10 and a half inches long. And it's probably at least two or three inches wide and it's packed to the brim. This is this great tortilla shell and it's stuffed to the brim. So let's see how good it is. I ordered the chicken burrito because I actually really like chicken. So let's first of all see how it tastes and if I can actually finish the thing. They actually also gave me this this like salsa, but I don't think I'm actually going to use it. Um, unless like I need a little more flavor, I might use it. I don't want this burrito to drip too much, but check this out. The La Bamba ginormous burrito. Only $9.50. And I think it's enough for me, even for someone like me, this is probably enough to fill me up. So this is a challenge. Can I eat it? The, the guy who actually worked at La Bamba's, I actually asked him if he can finish one of these burritos. He's like, yeah, the woman just, that just came in a while ago actually ate, scarfed down two of these. So that is a new challenge for me. I'm going to see if I can eat three of these sometime. I think that woman, I think that woman also kind of exploded after she left the restaurant. So this is the La Bamba Giant Burrito 950, but how does it taste? It actually, just smelling it, it actually smells better than the Cadobo or Chipotle burrito. This is a, a true Mexican burrito, and for how much food you get, it looks like it's made, it looks like they charge Mexican prices as well, because it's cheap for so much food. Um... Dude, this like big dinner plate, by the way, is hardly long enough to hold this thing. Just look at it. It looks monstrous. Oh gosh, let's eat. The tortilla is really good, guys. Mmm. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna have to actually use the salsa after I bite a little more into the burrito, of course. It is quite greasy. So you want a plate to hold it, but look at that bad boy, just two bites. Usually like two or three bites, I've already gone through like a third of the Chipotle or Cadoba burrito, but I've hardly touched this monster. Mmm. Good burrito, man. Like, I can tell the quality of the burrito is better than Chipotle or Cadoba at this point. Look at this monstrous burrito. So much wider and thicker. The tortilla is like definitely better than Chipotle or Kedoba. That's for sure. The wrapping for a burrito this big is actually like masterclass, honestly. It's a work of art to wrap something this ginormous. Like when I ordered a mega burrito, I did not expect it to be this size. I mean, I expect my mega burritos to be mega burritos. But this is this goes above and beyond the Call of Duty as a mega burrito. Let's dump some of this sauce in. Because I want the sauce to prolificate throughout the burrito. So I actually probably need to lift it up a little bit. To, God, look at how big this thing is. It's freaking enormous. It is, it is very greasy and saucy, so I can't actually lift it up fully because the liquids will lift through. But God, it tastes really, really good, man. Really, it's going to take me a while to eat this. So feel free to forward, fast forward to the end of the movie. Mmm. I have some good salsa. Quality salsa. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Scarfing down this giant burrito. I think will definitely be a challenge. The salsa is actually pretty spicy and hot. Mm -mm. I think it's freaking delicious.
This is freaking delicious. A little messy as you can see by the liquids, but it is delicious. No doubt about it. The back of the burrito is slightly breaking because there's so much stuff in it, but this is delicious. No second thoughts about it. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Man, this is so good. Now I'm just sad that I haven't discovered like this. I didn't discover this restaurant before. This stuff is like the hot sauce and the burrito are both extremely delicious. Mm. But I am pretty sure I can actually finish this though. I'm actually certain I can finish this. Because um, it's big, but it's so good that it goes down really easily. It's not like those crappy burritos that have no flavor, but it's so good that it goes down easily. Oh man, do you need some water for this? So for food, this, this much food, you definitely need some water. Probably not the healthiest thing to eat. That was a late night meal though. Mmm. So good. They definitely could have wrapped the back a little bit better, but it's a delicious burrito. No complaints at all. Mm -mm. I mean, the burrito definitely broke at the back, as you can see. But with so much food in the burrito, I, I can't really blame it for breaking. I mean, they stuffed it to the gills with, like, meat and everything else. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. They gave me one more pack. They actually gave me like two packets of hot sauce. Which is incredible considering how much burrito they gave me. I'm going to open this sucker up, pour in the salsa, which is going to even make it more liquidy. But since I got the plate to hold it, no problem at all. I might actually have to go get a fork. Mm. But this burrito, definitely... 9.5 out of 10, 95, just for how much food they actually give you. I'm going to easily finish this, but I probably need like a fork or something because it is getting really, really messy. Like it, the burrito actually held together for the majority of the time, but the last bit of it's leaking out because um, it's just too freaking big. But I love it. It tastes so good. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna have to go get go back and get the beef and pork burrito after this. So so good. Mmm. I know it's really messy now, but it's so much bigger than the Chipotle, Chipotle and Kedoba burritos. So much more substance and so much more de deliciousness. I can see how someone would scarf down two of these. Mm. But I think one's going to be enough for me for this late night dinner. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Now I just have this Mexican salad finish 
I'm going to get a spoon and finish this. But I finished probably like three-fourths of the burrito. I'm going to need a spoon to finish this. But I'm going to say like 9.5 out of 10. Solid A for this giant burrito. And yes, you can finish one in one sitting unless you are weak. But don't be weak. Eat a giant burrito in one sitting. La Bombas, solid A. Maybe even A+. Plus for this giant burrito for only $9.50. All right, that is the food review for today. You should definitely check out La Bamba's if you're in Madison and you enjoy Mexican burritos. Best burritos in terms, in terms of food per price value, best burritos anywhere. All right, that is the review for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode of eating and feasting and gluttony. Thank you and have a nice day.